Okay, here we are. We are back. Uh, this is just something I made uh, a little while ago. Uh, it's been a couple months or so. Uh, pretty easy design. Uh, but uh, what we're going to do today... Uh, first, thanks for stopping by, I guess. <laughs> really appreciate it. Uh, if you're a uh, uh, new time, it's first time to the channel. I'm getting like about 3,000 new people every month for the channel. Uh, I hope you enjoy the content and it helps you. And if it does, please hit that subscribe button. Return viewers, thank you so much for your support. Uh, could support me a little bit more and smash that uh, subscribe button as well. Uh, return viewers uh, or subscribers, uh, thank you very much. That's, you know, really uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. Uh, today, I just want to do something fun. It's been an absolutely crazy week this week, and I, I posted a little teaser, I think, on this one. Uh, but uh, I just it's just kind of fun to do. There's a lot of uh, possibilities you could do for your customers or for a website or social media or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get started. There's a couple things I want to do to set up first before I activate the command itself. So I wanna make sure that I have uh, all my pieces uh, individually so I can select everything uh, individual, right? So let's go back uh, so I can get my stones, you know, so I, unless you want it all, uh, however you wanna set it up, I guess, yourself. Uh, and then uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and just uh, take this ring and uh, we are going to just go ahead and explode it. Now we have all kind of different little pieces we can play around with, right? Uh, you know, if you're just wanting to do it for the customer, you can probably uh, do batch rendering, uh, you know, where you can change the stones and the color of the metal and do a batch rendering type stuff and uh, do a little video on something like that. Uh, so I'll, I'll show that at another point. Uh, and then uh, this one's just kind of, you know, you could take your stones and uh, have them out there. You'll see. Uh, but let's get going on it. So I have this, right? Uh, and I want to change my uh, front viewport. Uh, I'm going to set my view uh, to perspective. Now I can actually uh, move this one without affecting this. We want this one to remain steel, uh, so it's, it doesn't move. Uh, so we're going to take it and we're just kind of going to set it up a little bit right in the middle there. Kind of maybe uh, something like that. Uh, uh, but that's kind of what we want for that. Uh, we want this one to remain still, but we want to be able to move things around in this one without it uh, affecting this uh, position. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, I'm going to change my viewport because uh, this is kind of hard to see, uh, possibly. Uh, so I want to make it a little bit easier to see. So I'm going to change everything to white. Okay, uh, so we have it this now we have it in a uh, uh, plastic mode type look and uh, it just kind of it gives us that white background right so it kind of shows off everything a little bit more. You can also do it in render viewport, uh, you know your render uh, uh, if you wanted to uh, and then you could actually change your color of your stones too if you wanted to there there's all kind of possibility i'm going to let you uh kind of explore those possibilities we're just going to stick with this one and the command is called snapshots so i'm going to type in a snapshot uh, snapshots if i can spell it correctly uh yeah snapshot in there and uh, that'll give us this pop-up window over here, right? Uh, don't have to. I don't want to dock it or anything. I'll just leave it loose out here. Uh, but uh, there's a couple things you have to be aware of. Um, it, how you pick things is very important, and and how and making sure you don't overlay anything. So the first thing I'm going to do is, if I took a snapshot right now, it would give me the image of maybe the active viewport, uh, but in the video or uh, in the animation, it would show all four. So you wanna make sure you go to your active or your viewport that you want the picture uh, taken from. So we're just gonna take it from uh, this thing here. We'll set it up a little bit better, maybe something like that perhaps okay so from here i have this port activated right and i'm just going to go over here and click save as okay and it'll give us this pop-up menu 
a safe snapshot. We're just going to leave it at safe. You can name it if you want, if you have different kinds of stones or different things going on in there. Uh, and I'm going to hit OK. Now it'll pop this up. Uh, you only have to do this once. Uh, so you have to kind of select what you want the uh, image picture, the snapshot to keep, right? So we're going to click on uh, layer states. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely take that one. Uh, don't really, we don't have any lighting, but if you have lights, you know, you have a render type view and you have lights and stuff out there, you'll, you'll definitely want to click those. So uh, kind of go through there and find out what you want and what you don't want. Uh, I don't have any meshes out there, so I'm not going to really about worry about stuff anything in there uh definitely i'm going to click my display mode because we want to keep that uh, plastic right there and my material assignment and definitely position if we're going to move things and you want them to move in the animation uh you'll you'll want to click position uh and we'll just go ahead and click environments materials uh, don't have any textures or anything in there if you had uh, other kind of uh, rendering things on you you want to make sure those are there and then a camera of course and we'll just for good luck uh, to be sure we'll click display mode okay so uh we'll accept those and that'll give me my first snapshot right uh and right away we'll just click in the gray area we with it activated it'll be this uh this will be dark and this will be the writing will be white so click off that you don't want to if you have that clicked and you try to do another snapshot it'll override that one uh, and you don't want that uh, of course but you can also if you make a snapshot mistake you can drag your uh, uh, snapshots into different positions okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back uh, go back kind of have to go back and forth and this one see I can move around and not have to worry too much and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select my stone uh, and then drag it way out there so I can and I want it, my stone to go out of my viewport in this one and then I'm just going to go uh, click off that because I don't want that highlighted and then I'm going to go back to my perspective here and make sure I'm not this is not activated and I'm going to click on another snapshot I'm just going to hit enter enter because those settings are already set that way I want and then I'm just going to click right back in that gray get off that uh, view and then go back to my other perspective uh, and then uh, I'll drag these uh, gemstones here and we'll just drag them out to here so they're out of that viewport from our uh, one that we want the image from and i'll click on there to get oh there they are right there so i didn't pull them out far enough so let's grab them and pull them out a little bit more uh, and then go back and now they're gone okay uh, and then making sure i'm not uh, highlighted any of these and then i'll just click another uh, and hit enter enter and there's my other one. And again, click right back on gray. And then keep going back and forth. Oh, wrong one. Uh, to do all the animation type stuff that you want. We'll click those. We'll drag it way out there so we know it's no problem. And then we'll go back to our front viewport. Make sure I click on there so I don't highlight it. It's not that you can see it, so it's no big deal. But uh, And then hit save again and enter enter so it's keep saving my snapshots and then go back and what do we want to do now let's take these prongs here and let's uh let's just drag them up around there click off make sure it's not highlighted go back and uh we'll click on our gray uh, another step enter enter so it keeps adding uh, snapshots right and then we'll go back again and we'll drag these others off and uh, something like this here way over there go back oh okay so i'm clicking in this menu to make sure that's not activated uh or in wireframe highlighted i should say uh no nothing selected here go back click there hit enter enter and click back again and then just keep going back and forth set it up however you want and we'll take this one and we'll drag it up and maybe a little over a little bit and go back to our front and can't see it that's what we want and we'll take another snapshot and hit okay and okay click in the gray go back and now i'll just uh start uh kind of doing things a little bit more in bulk so we can move right along we'll take that whole head and we'll drag that up there 
and don't worry about breaking history it doesn't matter uh and we'll grab another snapshot enter enter and click in gray go back to our perspective uh this time we'll take this piece here and we'll oh, i don't know drag it down something like that go back in here uh, make sure nothing's selected hit save enter enter and click on my gray there go back just kind of back and forth and this time i'll just do something like this just so we can move along with this thing and uh click in here hit uh, save as enter enter and we'll do one more get rid of this piece here and we'll drag it way over here and go back oh of course my ring's going to be gone right uh and then hit save enter enter okay all right so we have all our snapshots together okay so what we do after we have all our snapshots is uh the animation right now you don't have to have anything selected but for you can go to here you're setting up your animation settings animated snapshots restoration uh you can have constant 100 is like uh i think uh one second i believe uh or you could have a constant speed uh and delay but between frames uh i'm just going to go ahead and click this one to zero to make it real quick uh and hit okay and then in order to grab our next command we have to highlight at least one of them so i'll highlight that one and i'll hit here and we'll go to our slideshow settings you can have it in full screen you can have it in a floating view shown in a floating view maximum active view uh, maximize active view you definitely want repeat uh and then show each snapshot for uh one second we'll just go with those settings and hit okay all right and then it will give us our snapshot and there goes the pieces one by one right so that's kind of exploding our ring out yeah there you go okay so uh We'll just go ahead and get out of this right now. All right. Now, uh, we, there's no way to actually save this file in here. So we have to do something else to capture that, uh, um, that animation, right? So what I'm going to do, there's lots of things. Uh, there's all kind of uh, display capture, uh, video captures out there that you can use. I'm just gonna go ahead, you can use PowerPoint, uh, Zoom, you know, there's tons of them. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go to Zoom and I'm gonna start a meeting by myself. <laughs> Not uncommon. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll activate this. And if right away, I'm going to just go ahead and hit record. And it's recording, okay? And this doesn't matter. It's not going to be seen. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to go to share screen. I'm going to select on my matrix gold viewport there and hit share. So now I'm in a shared screen mode. And uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, run that again. Okay, And I want to and I'll just hit cancel there and I'll want to run it a couple times so that I have enough video uh, to be able to edit it right uh, so we'll let it run through here a few seconds and uh, but there's uh, you know like I said there's crazy stuff you can do with this thing here uh, just be creative you can also do it in your animation studio except you have to be able you have to render everything right and it, that takes quite a bit of time this is pretty quick and just a little something extra uh, if you're, you have a website you know something like this would be pretty cool you know uh, you can also have the ring moving around and all kind of stuff uh, uh, you know swinging up into you know there's endless possibilities okay I'll let it run through one more time here and then we'll just go ahead and uh, stop everything and I'll, I'll, we'll take it to uh, uh, editing software. The, uh, there's all kind of apps, right, you can use. Okay, so that should be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop share, and then I'm going to stop recording. Okay, and when I click end, it will automatically transpose my uh, video and load it up. Uh, it'll show me the, the file placement will pop up so I can find out where it's being put at okay uh so i'll stop here 
stop the video and as you can see right there it's converting it okay and then it will uh put it back up there where's my zoom there okay so the file's there uh so what you need to do now uh this is uh matrix so let's see we can go ahead and uh let's see we can start our go into our uh, software uh at video editing i'm using elements uh and then we can uh let's see here if i can okay well, you can well file all that kind i'm not going to go through all that stuff i'm just going to go ahead and do the video so i'm going to add in media i'm going to go to my files i'm going to go to where it's at it's in my pc documents uh under my zoom right here and it would be that last one right there and then i'll just load that in right so it's in here and then i'll just drag it down to my timeline and uh it should load up okay so uh what you need to do at this point we'll click out of that in your video editing software whatever you're using uh just kind of play it you can probably drag it around faster to get it where you want i want it to where there's nothing there Okay, I want it right there to start. So I'm going to click that. And then I want it to run through where it's zipping in and then being blown all apart. So I'll let it run through. And then I'll stop it there. And then I'll just clip it. So I'll get rid of this one here. I'll cut that one out. And I'll cut this last piece out right here. And then I will just keep this. And this will be the video. Okay. So let's go back. And I'll show you on full screen. And it will be this. You have to be careful of your cursor. Your cursor will show up. but pretty cool and uh it's you could you know once you're uh once you have it you could do it as save it as a gif or what, however you want and it'll just play over and over again right uh so that's kind of how you do everything in that one i hope it uh, was it's pretty cool it's just fun and uh just a little something extra uh but like i said it's been a crazy week so i i wanted to do a little something i promised to get this one up here so hope you like it if you did please again hit that subscribe button leave a comment and uh good designing thank you very much for watching